This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Once again, we're in the studio because it's raining outside and it's raining hard. So what we're gonna do is open some mail. I have some leftover from last time because I couldn't open it all in one episode. So let's just get right into it. First package here is from Seymour Crack in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Well, that sounds like a fake name, like the Simpsons, right? Seymour Butts. Let's see what's in here. A napkin and a tape dumb and dumber soundtrack on cassette is there a note in here it says two of two dude from South Carolina again love the 90s nostalgia saw this tape in my collection and thought it would fit good with your Goldberg cup enjoy the channel Give my buddy Matt a shout out for graduating college after 13 years. 13 or 15, I can't quite tell. Well, anyway, congratulations, Matt, for finally finishing college after all this time. Since that said two out of two, I'm guessing this is one out of one. Also from Seymour Crack. Let's see what's in this one. It says, Realistic Fishing. Don't have paper, but love the channel. Sorry my writing sucks ass. Catch some fish on some of this old stuff I got and keep it real. Widespread panic rules. Dude from South Carolina. So we have a BASS soft bait variety pack. Looks like it's got a worm, a grub, a craw, and some other stuff. This is hilarious. This is a BASS branded soft plastics variety pack. It is old, right? 2001, it says right there. Hilarious that BASS would put their name on this. But I can probably catch something on this when the bass fishing season heats up. Thanks again to Dude from South Carolina, Mr. Seymour Crack, for the cool tape, the vintage bass fishing lures, cool stuff. Yes, yes. Okay, let me see. Keep it realistic. Let's see what else we got. This package is from Larry in South Hold, New York. Looks like it's been through a blender. I hope it's all in there. All right, let's see what Larry has sent to the show. I remember getting some other packages from Larry. Here we have some socks, lovely socks that speak from the soul. <laughs> we got a package of socks here with some fly fishing tackle on there. That's kind of cool. I'd rather be socks fishing, fly fishing, new. That's the description. I'd rather be socks. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in here. Here we have some eagle claw treble hooks. Right, this goes good on the bottom of spoons and crankbaits, and you could even bait this up and use it as a bait holder. We got some line here that has escaped the box and is in the tape. I don't know what kind of line this is. We have a mystery spool of line. It's got stretch, so I'm guessing it's mono. Mystery spool. It's pretty thin. Looks like maybe six or eight pound test. Let's see what else we got. 
We got some stickers, J and H Tackle. We got some tube baits here, Golden Pearl X Zone Tubes. Got another sticker here, 24 hour soak, same company, J and H Tackle. This. I know what this is. This is a pen rod. I have one of these somewhere. It's like a little collapsible travel rod. Sounds sturdy enough, right? Could work in a pinch though. Fun how it's disguised as a pen. A huge pen. This is the Super Pocket Spin by M-Rod. Let's get this out of here. I'm going to switch sides here and make it a right hand reel. Which is a cool feature for such a strange and small little spinning reel. I'm glad it can change over. Well, it's not the smoothest, but it is an interesting little reel. See how small the seat is? It's made to go with the pen rod here. So thanks again to Larry for sending more stuff into the show. The cool socks, the hooks, the crazy little pen rod, the mysterious fishing line, maybe it can go on the pen rod, stickers, tube baits, pretty cool. I'm gonna have to try and make a pen rod video. I can probably catch a bluegill on that. We'll see how it goes. What's going on fellas? Tackle Junkie 81 here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. And last but not least, oh man, that's heavy. I got a big, heavy box from Daniel in Brentwood, California. All right, let's see what's in this big box. All right, here's a letter. It says, Dear Alex, thank you for the awesome videos. It's nice to see someone posting realistic fishing content on the tubes. In this box, you'll find a bunch of soft plastics and a red tackle box. The main reason for the shipment is the tackle box. The tackle box was found at the bottom of Long Canyon Four Bay Reservoir in Pollock Pines, California. A few years ago, this was given to me by a friend. The water level in the lake that year was lower than normal due to a drought and construction that was going on. I can't remember exactly what he told me. He was out for a hike around the edge of the lake where it would normally be covered in 15 to 20 feet of water and came across this tackle box. Inside you'll find all sorts of vintage fishing gear. It appears to be from the 50s because there's an envelope postmarked 1956 inside. From what I can gather, a carpenter went out for a weekend on the lake and either forgot his tackle box on the bank or lost it over the side of a boat. I know how you like vintage fishing gear, so it's all yours. When it was given to me, it was pure chaos inside. The bug spray and scent had leaked out, creating a sticky mess with hooks and line everywhere. I did my best to organize it and clean it up, but couldn't bring myself to trashing any hook or fishing line. I taped some cardboard over the top tray in hopes of keeping the small stuff together. The soft plastic lures I didn't have much luck with in my lake. Maybe you'll have better luck with them. Tight lines, Daniel. Wow. That is a cool box. It says Union Steel Chest Corporation, Leroy, New York. And I think it's actually a tackle box because it has a ruler on top. There's also a bunch of soft plastics in this box and I'll get to those after we see what's in here. This is heavy. This is why it was so heavy. The sticker here says Union Brand Genuine Fiberglass. This is pretty cool like opening a time machine. 
this is Roman from Roman Castro Vlog, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Right off the bat, here's the letter he was talking about. Yeah, it smells like bug spray. 1956, United Brotherhood of Carpenters. Is there a letter inside? No, just an empty envelope. This is um, Johnny O'Neill Industries. It's like a little pamphlet for a lure. Here's an old fishing reel inside. This is a Shakespeare Wondercast Model 1777. Oh, needs some grease. But it appears to be working. I'm not sure. I'll have to take it apart maybe and see if it's salvageable. But this is cool. We got an old Shakespeare reel. A random piece of sandpaper, probably to sharpen hooks. A lot of scent. Little jars of different scents. This is awesome. So, National Fish Scent Catch More Catfish. We got a plastic bag here with some bottles of scent. Looks like maybe some dye that has faded over time and some bug spray. That's really cool. I might have to take these out individually and clean them up later. See what I can do with those. A couple of pairs of pliers. Got a stringer. We got a bunch of packs of pre-snelled hooks. Finest quality snelled hooks. Genuine Mustad. Look at this old packaging. That is cool. Got some fishing line here. Look at that. It's melted. It was touching another form of plastic in there for a long time. This is Western Fishing Line. Glendale, California. Got a variety of lead weights here. I'll take a couple of each one out and show you. So we got these flat river weights here. Got some slightly more round weights. This interesting style. I don't see that one very much. And up here, he said he taped this cardboard on here so that the hooks wouldn't spill all over the place. There we go. Wow, all sorts of stuff up here. Look at this weight. It has like a hole in it. That's weird. What is that for? Oh, it has like a spring resistance inside. Some old timers might know what this is for. I have no idea. That is a weird swivel. Got some can openers, of course. Got to open your corn and stuff while you're out there. Awesome. I got one of these in a different tackle box. This Vibra Bat Lure. That's old school. Of course, we got a few floats. Everyone knows what these are. Bottle opener. Small topwater popper. Here's some kind of homemade lure, I'm guessing. Looks old, looks crazy. Got some more homemade lures here. Here's an interesting one. It's like a little spoon with a plopper on it. But, you know, this is old, from the 50s, maybe 60s. I don't know how old this is. That letter did say 1956, though, right? Book of Matches from SIDS. Got some pinch-on sinkers. And another Vibrabat. Two Vibrabat lures. That is cool. Now I gotta carefully put it all back in. 
you did a really good job of cleaning this up and sorting it out. It looks great. It really does. Wow. Thanks again to Daniel for sending this awesome vintage tackle box into the show. It's really fun looking at this old fishing stuff. It's like taking a trip back in time. All right, now let's see what else Daniel sent. He said he sent some soft plastics that weren't really working for him. This is Seth from Gullisville, Tennessee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's just start looking at it. Here we have some Big O's Eliminator. Right, it's got that beaver style body, but a grub curl tail. Here we have some Gary Yamamoto 5.5 inch swim Sankos. So this is a big fat mag Senko with a swim tail on it. I've never seen that before. Here are the Gary Yamamoto swim Senkos. Same thing, but in green pumpkin. Here, now you can get a better look at them. Here we have a pack of Robo Worms 6 inch straight tail. This looks like a great bait. It says Orange Crusher, but to me that looks like Nightcrawler. Here we have some Cabin Creek Salty Lizards, some small 4-inch lizards. Here we have a package of Gary Yamamoto 3-inch Yamasenko. This I like. We got some Zoom Trick Worms in Green Pumpkin. Good looking worms here. And we have a spool of Power Pro 20 pound test braid. We'll keep this aside. I might be able to put this to use right away. It's hard to tell exactly how much line is left on there. 20 pound test is pretty good because it's six pound diameter, right? You can use that on a smaller reel. Here's some more Power Pro 15 pound test braid. Once again, small diameter. You can use that on a small reel. Here we have some Strike King. I'm not sure what they are, but they're little flipping baits. They look like little craws. Here we have some Smart Baits, color changing baits. I may have some of these in my collection. I haven't really used them or caught anything on them, but supposedly they change color depending on the water temperature. Of course, we got some Yum Dingers. That always works for me. And by always, I mean I can catch bass on this. They don't work every single time. No lure does. But I do like this one. Here we have a 10,000 fish Sukoshi bug. Looks like a little Ned Rig bait. Now we got some Bio Bait infused with fish oil. Got some small worms here. Got some more Yamamoto Senkos here. Got some more mini Yamamoto Senkos. This is a good looking worm. We got Zoom Trick Worms in Kentucky Flash. We got some Zoom Shaky Head Worms in Green Pumpkin. And some Big Bite Baits. It doesn't really say the name of it. It looks like a little kill shot type bait, like a little drop shot leech kind of thing. And we're going to take a break before we get into this last bag of stuff. This is Craig from Fishing with Lord Almighty. And you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Alright, one more bag of stuff from Daniel. We got some random loose swim baits in the bottom of this bag. Here we have some bait lab worms, kind of look like a Senko. Here we have some Gary Yamamoto swim baits. Here's a few Strike King Rage swimmers. Looks like this one might work for him. There's only a couple left in the package. We got some Biospawn Exo sticks. I probably have one or two of these in my collection. Here's a bag of Zoom Trick Worms. Here we have some flipping baits by Riot. Missile D bombs. Another package of Rage Swimmers. Got some little chunk craws here from Excite Baits. This is the Raptor Tail Chunk. 
Hey, one of my all-time favorites, Havoc Pit Boss. Easy shiners in two different colors. This first one, I have a video where I caught like a 13-inch crappie on a 4-inch swim bait just like this. That was a good video. Well, that's a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you very much, Daniel, for sending all the lures and the cool vintage tackle box. Also, thanks again to Larry for sending the socks and fun lures. And thanks to Seymour Crack for the tapes and the cool vintage bass lures. Thanks again to everyone who sends something into the show. I really appreciate it. And on a rainy day like today, it gives us all something fun to watch. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.